and now could sit like a child on his mother's lap, contented and quiet, at peace with God and with the world. But I have come, I have quieted my soul like a weaned child with his mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. And he calls on Israel, God's people, to join him in that quiet trust of the Lord. O oh, Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. Israel, God's people, hope in the Lord, not just now, but for eternity. Because God is righteous and mercifully shows his loving redemption, God's people can have hope, not just for this life, but for eternal life in heaven. Hope in the Lord, David says, from this time on and forevermore. God's redemption is not just for this world, but for the next one as well. Or there would be no cause for true and lasting peace. No cause for quiet trust. No cause for hope. But God's merciful redemption begins in this life and lasts forevermore. Of all the things we talked about before, the things that scare us, the things that might cause us fear and discomfort. Of all those things that might unquiet our souls, that might unsettle us from the lap of our Heavenly Father and cause us discomfort, what could possibly be big enough to scare us? As Christians, is there anything that should be big enough to scare us? We as a church are about to hear a report from the building committee. We will be preparing to vote on that report in a couple of weeks. There may be someone here who fears for the future of the church. On one hand, someone might be afraid that we will vote to build and the financial cost will be too great or the economy won't allow it to happen. On the other hand, another person may be afraid that we will vote not to build. They may fear that by not building, we endanger Winston's bright future. Whatever your fear is, hear the message of Psalm 131. Don't let your mind worry about the future, about things that are too marvelous for us to predict. Rather, cultivate a quiet trust in God's plan and rest like a weaned child upon his lap. Place your hope in the merciful and loving redemption of our almighty loving Father. There ain't nothing to afraid of. And the question we face today is not to build or not to build. It's not the question. We have nothing to fear if we have hope in God who gives us eternal peace. Our question is to trust or not to trust. Wherever our fears may lie, this trust can evaporate them. We have been vindicated and redeemed by a righteous and loving God, and our eternal hope is in nothing else than in Him who dries out all of our fears. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us this message of quiet trust and peace, this message of constant and unfailing hope that we have in a redeeming Savior who loves us, hope both now and forevermore. Let us hear the words of David and respond to them as your people, and let us find perfect rest and peace in the hope that you have given us. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.